Tribute to Combat Peace and Wartime. This is part three of the God Afro Explained in Noon Science. Meanwhile, the border of Afra moves on, assisted by the gods of the dead of Sucker, and at length it reaches the waters which existed on the northern boundary of his kingdom. Here the god leaves his serpent boat and re-enters his river boat, which by some means he has been transported to the entrance of the sixth section of the Tuat. Listen to Jutal, Jupiter, Ma'at, Ra, Amun, Ray, the judge of all, sound right reasoning. This portion of the text is repeating that Afro Ra, Afro Unu, had successfully passed from this life in May 3rd, 2011 AD and was reborn shortly again in Africa of that same year. The sixth section of the Tua was the Virgo cycle. Afro Unu was born in the fifth section called the Virgo section, but he, Afro Unu, Afro Ra, did live to see the first 49 years of the second sec the seventh section called the Revolutionary Quarter. And Noon Signs, let this be remembered well. All right, here's the Smat Circle. In the sections, Aries 1, Taurus 2, Gemini 3, Cancer 4, Leo 5, Virgo 6, and Libra section 7 of the Tuat of the Underworld or the bottom half in Noon Signs. The sixth section of the Tuat lies to the north of the realm of Sucka and Afro traverses it in a boat. It is called the Mechet Munept Tuat and contains the abodes of the dead kings of Egypt and of the Ku or spirit souls. As Afro passed through it, he saluted all the dwellers there and besought them to slay Apep for him in return for their services. He decreed them offerings in abundance. In the picture of this section, we see Afro laying on the back of the five headed serpent Ash. Ash Heru, which has his body bent over him to protect him on the head of the guard is the beat of Kepa. And remember, it says here that in the bottom, he travels in the boat, right? And it's in the dead kings of Egypt and of the Ku or the spirit souls. Remember, everything in the bottom half is scientifically, scientifically dead. So soul, ether, the body, the planets, all of this stuff is in a state of scientific death all right except the body as far as it dies erodes goes back to the ground animals insects eat it whatever but in this case i just want to point out that the the book of coming forth by a day is telling you that everything's in, is in a form, form of some type of death if you know noon science and how it talks about spirits or scientifically dead and all of that this is just a confirmation of that Here's a depiction of how the ancient Ethiopians, here's a depiction of how the ancient Ethiopians of Kemet drew the way Afro Unu Afro Ra reincarnation has been throughout evolution. Alright, this is coming from the Book of the Hidden Chamber, uh, set what, 1426 BCE, or the 12 hours of the night in the midnight mystery section 3 all right, of the Amu Duat. So this is the picture right here. See? The serpents. So if you want to get more information about this, definitely read the books that we have um, on free PDF. And also, um, you need to read, um, I think you need to go to to Tom Boo Uno on Nets page and she got a, a video on the hissing and stuff like that. I can't recall the video at this point, but it breaks down why that is a case. But see, the spirit... Our ancient ancestors knew that the spirits are like serpents, and in the bottom half, everything is in a in a serpent type form. That's the opposite of a circle, rather. So you have to go into the books a little bit more for that. All right, Afro Unu, Afro Ra personality and memories being carried life to life. That's what you're looking at. They're carrying him. All right. Listen, reason. The only beings without a die who have everlasting eternal existence are infinite space, infinite matter, and infinite time. Because they never had beginning and can never end if they wanted to. All forms and formulas of almighty nature are beginning and must end eventually. As for eternal life for human beings, there is no life after death of the physical body 
as explained in earlier knowledge booklet written by Afro-Uno, the messenger and scribe for Nupu Anu, in order to definitely determine for sure whether there can be life after death of the physical body, one must be able to definitely determine for sure what life is and what preparation presentation booklet written by Afro-Uno defines and describes life and death. However, if a human being becomes an incarnation of an original spirit god and goddess who is eternal life, it is indeed possible for that spirit god or goddess to maintain the personality and also memories of the person that he and she are incarnate in the flesh and blood of. If this happens, the human being is said to have eternal life because his or her personality and memories will be kept alive until the smart circular order reaches point six east on the horizon of existence. Let it be remembered. Introduction to the Nature Nature Book 2, page 100. Symbol of resurrection at this point in his journey, Alpha Ra begins to travel towards the east and to direct his course to the mountain of the sunrise, Bakal. This was just spoken of in the quote above. Six East is 18 million years from now when Nupu will have brought all existence back to life of life. Hitherto he has been traveling from south to north. Listen to reason that part three south comes a positive cataclysm to help the nine mentality be strong enough to pull the circle of order upward on the right side while undoing what the negative forces of evolution have done. The point three south cataclysm is basically silence of nature making a major cycle changes with the help of waters, gases, indeed fires, like solids, of course, the other matter, elements, liquids, ethers, and gases get help too from the other three remaining elements when it is their turn to be the basic element of major cycle changes. At point six east also comes a positive cataclysm to take all existence to the summit or tip top point nine of the standard, standards values and qualities and abilities of almighty nature and his offspring called person places and things all right so once again the angels knew that the way existing is going at this point is from from south to north and you see here three south and it talks about all the different cataclysms south north all that good stuff all right so you ain't got to worry about all of that see north all the gods of this section assist Afro Ra on his way and the monster serpent Unim Ku devours the shadows of the dead and the spirits of the enemies of the sun god. Listen to reason described stated previously religion has served its purpose and thereby has been fulfilled except for the ending called judgment and balancing time by the positive powers and negative forces of almighty nature. So. It is true and binding if this right after Uno is murdered by anyone who suffered anything for any reason, by any means, he has requested and predicts that all enemies of the Ethiopian race be destroyed and their roots completely eliminated and all enemies of justice and equality be terminated once and for all, leaving it alive only the elite and elect. Those innocent people definitely chosen to survive Armageddon by way of Nun and Nupu. So leaders and rulers of planet Earth, it is most wise and in the best interest of all concerned not only to allow this messenger of Nupu nature to accomplish his mission and assignment by Almighty Nature in the name Nupu, but likewise help him become a part of the process of surviving Armageddon. The war of ending the old and beginning the new. Let it be remembered, always let it be known. It's introduction to the nature of nature, book two, pages 268 to 269. Listen to Jutas, Jupiter, Amin Ra, Ma'at, the judge of all, sound right reason. I am the defender of Afro Unu. Afro Ra and the time of devouring has been in effect before 1962 AD and will continue past February 5th, 2025 AD. Remember this well. All right, so also the ver each of these cycles of of the big zodiac from aries all the way over are three million years apiece the virgo cycle was three million years and that pretty much imbalanced everything so it's going to take the libra cycle three million years to balance what happened on the left side so libra have to balance out what virgo did and as it goes up to the next one whatever came before virgo then the next uh Zodiac sign after um, Libra will balance out 
the rest as we go up forward and forward forward and forward toward nine north the seventh section of the two at is called Thefe Shittat or the hidden region and it is a continuation the god is in the form of the serpent men all right so here we go again just to let you know that see so this is this the seventh section just a reiteration all right repetition Libra section is the seventh part of the two at the underworld bottom half and he is accompanied by 12 sailor gods the 12 sailor gods are the 12 zodiac signs of the long zodiac that are three million years long so as i was saying earlier right libra have to undo what virgo did scorpio have to undo what leo did Sagittarius have to undo what Cancer did. Capricorn have to undo what Gemini did. Aquarius have to undo what Taurus did. Pisces have to undo what Aries did. And then it goes up to the top half. All right. This picture is from the nature books. All right. I just altered a little bit. Who sing to him? All right. So this saying, this, uh, and he, which is Alpha Ra, is accompanied by 12 sailor gods who sing to him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Listen to reason. Nunabus may sing and honor Nupu in the scientific and knowledgeable way, meaning sing and converse with Nupu and let nature take its course because that is what it is going to do anyway in accord with the cycle and season. The cycle and season now is the beginning of the Libra cycle, the cycle of justice and equality. Nupu is the positive force of nature indeed in the person of sound right reason, male and female mental energies. The Ethiopian race must magnify Nupu, the positive and creation powers of the African race by pronouncing the name Nupu nine times or more and often in reminding the positive powers of almighty nature of our covenant and the cycle and season and let absolute nature take its course while doing the best we can toward trying to make the right things happen. The way to serve Nupu is to serve each other and the way to honor, respect, and admire Nupu is to learn and obey the commandment laws of Nupu and all the other knowledge of the science noon, all of which is an education within itself that sets the stage and foundation for all other sciences in absolute almighty nature. Nupu and Noon are the power base of the black African race who is definitely and indeed able to restore our dignity and respect individually and as the Ethiopian race. Let it be remembered always well. It's look to the Nature and Nature Book 2, page 37. Side note, Alpha Una was born with Nupu in his mind. This means he was able to hear Nunabu say the memorandum in many ways they communicate with Nupu and scatter water with their paddles on the beings who line the banks. The path of the God is lighted by 12 Uray who pour out fire from their mouths. And at the end of the section after I pass the field laborers who cultivate the fields of Osiris under the direction of Horus, governor of the lake of the Tuat. Listen to Juta, Jupiter, Ma'at, Amen, Ray, the judge of all. Sound right reasoning. I, Juta, have made it known through my Juta's nephew, Afrohun's writings, that Horus was one of my Juta, Jupiter's ancient titles. The sun gods, individual spirit power of the true stars of the universe, and they are countless together with their consort goddesses. The sun god on planet Earth is called by various names, by various peoples and different ethnic races by the names Ra, Re, Amen, Ra, Re, Rakti, Uranus, Ta, and Jupiter, Helios, and Horus. Introduction to the Nature of Nature, Book 2, page 146 in part. The 10th and 11th section of the two are called, um, I can't even pronounce that. All right. So here we are again. These are the, the 11th and 12th section, which is just the 11th and 12th zodiac signs Aquarius and Pisces, three million years long apiece. All right. So once again, counting them all out. All right. And form part of the kingdom of the sun god of Anu. Hammurabi, Melchizedek was an incarnation of the sun god Marduk, sometimes called Anu and Elion. Melchizedek was a king, priest, and incarnation of the gods Elion and Hermes, same as Anu and Sin. Bible interpretation and explanation, book 1, pages 9 and 11 in part. Once again, Anu, in this case, we're talking about Jupiter. All right, that was her name, Anu, and also Elion. She's the god of the Phoenician race and the other races that were created or grown by her sun powers of six ether and the six ether eggs that came up 
more on that at another time but you can read the nature of nature book two it goes into that all right listen to Utah Jupiter I'm Ray Ray Ma'at the judge of all summer reading I Jupiter Jupiter Amen Ra Ma'at the judge of all Am Elion and Anu what people call Allah today is the sun god known in ancient times by acronym like biblical Eli of the Caucasian New Testament Bible the word Eli is short for Elion and Helios the letters I and Y are interchangeable with each other meaning one can take the place of the other in ancient times Allah was also known by names like Shamash and again, Eli, the chief god of the Phoenicians, Baal, Marduk, Ra, Ray, Amun, Ra, Danbala, Brahma, Zeus, Jupiter, Ta, Uranus, Molech, Lord, etc. Eli, Elion, Marduk was the god of Melchizedek, who it is written that and also blessed Abram of the Caucasian Old Testament Bible. Melchizedek was a Phoenician Arab originally. Let it be remembered, always let it be known. Introduction to the Nature, Nature Book 2, pages 145 to 146. Or Heliopolis and part of the eastern delta the beings who dwell in the 10th section have two duties to perform to slay the enemies of Afura and to destroy their bodies listen to reason indeed is the fact that the writer Mester for Nupu and Noon desires to warn experts and laymen alike that he Afra was not the savior because the time for the savior has passed the savior was Logos it is now time for the liberator and the liberator's noose also called Nupu the resurrector and liberator of the mental dead therefore do not entertain the idea of murdering this right after Uno for a sacrificial lamb because it is not salvation time but judgment time it is wise for all people to act accordingly let it be remembered always well listen to reason as described stated previously religion has served its purpose and thereby has been fulfilled except for the ending called judgment and balance of time by the positive powers and negative force of almighty nature so it is true and binding this right after Uno was murdered by anyone for whosoever or anything for any reason by any means he is requesting and predicts that all enemies of the Ethiopian race be destroyed and their roots completely eliminated and all enemies of justice and equality be terminated once and for all leaving alive only the elite and elect those innocent people definitely chosen to survive Armageddon by way of Noon and Nupu so leaders and rulers of planet earth it is most wise in the best interest of all concern not only to allow this message of neutral nature to accomplish his mission and assignment by almighty nature in the name Nupu, but likewise help and become a part of the process of surviving Armageddon the war ending the old and beginning the new let it be a memoir let it be known introduction to the nature of nature book 2 pages 268 to 269 when Afu Ra arrives at the last of the pits his journey through the two at proper is ended and it only remains for him to pass through the antechamber to the east of it in order to arrive at the sky of this world now he's saying there's another world listen to reason during the top half of the smash circle all the spear beams are visible to the naked eyes but during the bottom half of the same circle starting at 0.6 west and ended up at 6 east counterclockwise spear beams are invisible to the naked eyes see it's just to the nature of nature book 2 page 76 and part so now we get into the 6 east right which is uh on this side all right so this is the whole nother world up here see it's nine nine up here and triple six down here all right jump back to where we was all right introduction to the nature of nature see east six east it is north the top half Sky Nupu Upper World, bottom half Sky Zupu Two Way Underworld. This is where we at. We at the, we at right here. Long way to go. Even though the uh, person is talking about the story of Afu Ra, all of existence is still traveling this direction. All right. Afu Ra, Afu Unu traveling eastward to top half Nine Ether. Introduction to the Nature of Nature, Book 3, page 36 of the PDF. 
Afuwa has now reached the uttermost limit of thick darkness. The original atmosphere of this planet was very unlike we know it today. At the time, the atmosphere was strong, dense, with life gases hot all over the planet, even at the poles. So in the bottom half of existence, you have green, that's gamma radiation. So the sky changes colors. When you get to the top, going towards 6 east where I told you all of the elements start to add on another element for example um you got hydrogen and helium right they are both so that's one ether 6 ether brainings are, are melting down but they're, they're working through this one ether so by the time we get to 6 east uh, hydrogen will, will go back and start going nuclear fission will start going back toward helium but it's at one now it's one hydrogen one helium as thousands of years go go by one hydrogen and one helium would get another element then it'd be two hydrogen two helium three hydrogen three helium four hydrogen four helium but this is millions of years and all the other atom uh, elements on the periodic, periodic chart that has two or three, they, you know, they'll start to add on as well. So whatever elements that you see on the periodic chart that has two or three, as time go by, it'll turn to three, four, five, six, seven. Now you got seven ether. Seven ether means there are seven more of that element to that particular element on the periodic periodic table a couple million years ago by which is six million it'll turn into eight ether meaning eight elements per element on the periodic chart eight ether like that which i described this already all right so to tell you here the nine ball count four again we talking about dense so we're talking about heavier it's dense it's thick it's hot all right the temperature rises and infrared is the the color that's coming from the suns at this point listen to the reason the gods and goddesses physical and spiritual the life cycle top half of the circle of order can change their forms of will to any animal form they wish but their nature does not change the animal nature as in the bottom half of the circle for their existing in the non-animal time zone during the time that the the, the life cycle exist the world of life the life cycle is altogether different of course the world of death the death cycle see figures four five and part two of this book for example there are no physical sex intercourse and no kind of death all spirit beings all spirit gods and goddesses are visible and purple in color and all flesh and blood gods and goddesses are what jet black in color with kinky hair by nature no physical animals exist who have animal nature in addition instead of the sky being blue as we now see it the world of the death and the dead it is lighter purple like lavender or lilac in the world of life and the living instead of vegetation being basically green as we see it today it is basically rust red during the cycle of life instead of the ocean water being blue as we see it now it is purplish in color during the life cycle and so forth all parts and members of the absolute almighty nature let it be remembered always and let it be known it's just to the nature of nature book 2 pages 205 to 206 and arrives at the 12th section of the other world which is called can't pronounce that this is now we at the 12th section because now we feel like it's the top half that the existence is going into. All right. This section contains the great mass of what celestial waters called Nu and the goddess Nut, who is here, the personification of the god of the morning. We see Alpha Ra in his boat as before, and in front of it is the beetle of Kepra, under whose form the new sun is to be born. A member of the Ethiopian race may philosophically be called a pitch nova, pronounced pitch nova, and pitch nova amongst other positive things mean what? The black new star. So a new star, a new sun, because this, because of the energies now. It's a renewal, not like new for the first time. It's due to the nature of nature, book two, page one eighteen in part. 
Listen to Jucha Jupiter, Amun Ray, Ma'at, the judge of all sound right reasoning. Nupu Nine eat the chemicals that revive all of existence throughout the universes. It is a fact that it is written that all things will be made new, and Nupu is those who do make all things new. Let it be remembered always, let it be known. It's stuck to the Nature of Nature, Book 2, page 216, part. Before the boat is the great serpent, Akhnatiru, and 12 Amikihu guards taking hold of the tow line into this serpent at the tail and drawing the guard and his boat through the body of the serpent. Listen to reason. Reason indeed descends and extends in degrees on a smack soak of order. Descending reason ranges from tip top point nine north to the smack circle to rock bottom point three south at the same circle turning in a counterclockwise direction and extending reason ranges from rock bottom point three of the big circle to the tip top point nine of the smack circle of order. <clears throat> see figures three and part two of this book for descending and extending reason and see figure five for the six and nine digits. The tail of the six starts at point nine and the tail of the nine stops at point three. Six and nine are opposites and the reverse of each other as the digits themselves show. Let it be remembered always, let it be known. Introduced to the Nature Nature book one, page 76. So this is how it looks when Zupu starts to come after the, the, the gas cataclysm. So reason is descending, meaning all types of how to do things is not the best. It's the opposite of nine reason, which shows us how to do and solve our problems the best way. Zupu gives us the worst way to solve problems. All right, introduction to the Nature of Nature, book one, page 136. Listen to reason. Like the circle reason is measured by degree, solid reason is always the same, except that it descends and extends. Decreases and increases. Descending reason, same as decreased reason on the left side of the smart circular order. Figure three again in this topic is known as six reason, quarter four with this tail of six ether mentality, quarter three, and extending reason, same as saying increasing reason on the right side of the same circle. It is known as nine reason, quarter two, and its tail of nine ether mentality, quarter one, six and nine are indeed opposites in nature of science. Moreover, Six is the is the reverse of nine, as their digits themselves verify. For six is nine in death, according to the annals of philosophical science and scientifically speaking. It is fact that heaven and hell are not special places somewhere in the universe, because heaven and hell are states or conditions. So, whatever co condition a person finds him, him or herself in at any given time is his or her hell. All right, introduction to the Nature of Nature, book one, page 138. Listen to sound right reason. All persons, places, and things on nature right now at this writing, 2007 AD, or at point three south on the smash circular order for location of given points of the circle. See the topic mentioned in the preceding paragraph again. Nine nature nupu is nine reason and nine ether nine reasons influence. Sound right reason starts at the bottom of the tail of the nine at Point three south with a big circle order and pulls all persons and things up with in various ethics, standards, qualities, and decrees degrees on the right side. And six ether form sound left reason, a phase six nature zupu starts at the top of the tail of the six at point nine north and pulls all persons and things forward in ethics, various standards, qualities, and degrees on the left side of the smash circle of order. These opposites influence happens at point nine north and point three south on the smash circular cosmos at opposite times. Six nature Zupu pronounced Zupu with the H being silent being the opposite of nine nature Nupu is six reason and six ether. Let it be remembered always, let it be known. Introduction to the nature of nature, page eight. Listen to sound right reason. It is true that the influence of Nupu, known as sound right reason, starts in the bottom half of the smash circle of order at the tail end of the number nine and goes upward on the right side of the big order circle. See figures four and the digits six and nine on the left side of the figure in this topic. All right, it's figure four. Figure five. Remember, nine stars here. This is the tail. The tail stars at the bottom. Going this way. 
This writer of peace, Nupu, was not in an individual spirit being because nine ether individual spirits cannot exist in the bottom half of the smack circle of order, the domain of death and the dead. So anybody y'all hearing keep talking about nine ether spirits, it don't exist. All right, because all those spirits that were once nine ether turned into six, and now they all three. All right, because we remember ether or gases are made up of elements those elements have fallen from nine elements per at um nine elements per element on the periodic chart you won't find nothing greater than i think uh nitrogen they got five um elements to it everything else is below that so there's no nine ether eight or seven ether spirits the same way there is no such thing as uh, hair or mankind having six ether hair. There's no such thing as that. All right? Because you're talking about the potency of things. Only our race will have that have, that's kinky have all the numbers in our hair. So anybody talking about 987 ether hair? No. Our kinky hair. And some of us have helixes and solenoids. Our kinky hair have zero to nine in our hair. All right. That's the only thing that's still here with us from original creation is the African races hair. We have all of the numbers, not just nine, eight, seven. That's not, that's not the correct interpretation of that. We have zero to nine ether kinky hair. That's the only thing that's left from nine ether is the hair all right this writer repeats new pool is okay we went through that already let uh and the zoo pool stand for death and the dead the visible individual spirit beings in the top half of the big order circle are new pool but they ex exist ex zoo in the bottom half and is and invisible because they are dead and in the death zone see figure 7 13 25 and 42 farther ahead in this subject all right let me go back up here because I think I skipped. All right, Nupu is a throughout through nature atmosphere of mind and energies that increase in density and strength through nature until they reach 0.9 north, counterclockwise on the smart circle of cosmos. Remember, Nupu represent life and the living, and Zupu stands for death and the dead. The visible individual spirit beings in the top half of the big circle are Nupu, but we're not in the top half right now. But they exist as Zupu in the bottom half where we are right now and invisible because they are dead in the death zone where we are right now. See figure 7, 13, 25, and 42 farther ahead in this subject. We all are in the death zone right now at point three south. See figure 13 and 45. Of course, Nupu is the opposite of Zupu by nature, and this means that these two mind energies are also opposites in compositions and results. Let it be remembered, always let it be known. So anybody talking about 7, 8, and 9 ether hair, stop listening to them. They are increasingly erroneous and in manifest error, all right? Alright, so that concludes part three. Tremendous comment, peace, and war time.